And then I'll put the underlying energy right here. So guys, this, the underlying energy that we got going on here for you guys is the five of wands. There's a little bit of conflict going on right now. There's that's you know, that's very apparent. You know, there's some things going on, um, conflict wise, in, internal turmoil even, but I think most importantly, it's some energy kind of going. It's some competition. The reason why I say that is because you have here the Ace of Cups. I think right now, I think you may be competing for love, maybe for some of you guys. Some of you guys maybe have some turmoil about love, starting again, starting love all over again. Um, I feel like there is something going on in regards to maybe internal turmoil that you guys may have in regards to, you know, your relationships and stuff. Um, but right now this conflict is a big issue. It's a big, you know, it's a big center point here. Let's go ahead and t look into the rest of this and see what's going on right now. It's, it's looking like you guys are dealing with, um, triggers right now. You guys are dealing with you know, you know, old issues, dealing with old, you know, old relationships. For a lot of you guys, you guys could be dealing with exes. Um, so, um, oof, which is definitely understandable, especially if you're having that five of wands there. If y'all are dealing with an ex, yes, you're going to have a hard time trying to figure out, okay, well, if this is someone I've been with already. Uh, is this someone I really want to get back into it again with? All right. You know what I'm saying? So the three of swords is really talking about finding those triggers, knowing what those triggers are and really, is, you know, addressing the issue, you know, addressing the elephant in the room. That's pretty much what it is. And it has a lot to do with heartache as well. It has a lot to do with, you know, some things that may have happened in the past that just never really were properly gotten over. Now, what you guys want to be is this Ace of Wands, which is very interesting as we saw the, you know, the Ace of Cups here underneath the underlying energy. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, <clears throat> for a lot of you guys, you guys have, you know, you guys want something more exciting. You guys want th things going on. I feel like this is what's going on. You know, some change happening. There's some, you know, as we, you know, talked about here with the five of five of wands, it's not just turmoil and conflict and things like that, but it's, it's ultimately change. Change is, you know, comes in all kinds of forms, especially conflict. Okay. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, when it comes to the ace of wands here, I, I feel like you all really wanted to start something new, start something fresh. And I really think you guys really want to get a relationship that's the that sparks in that fiery way i really think you guys really want to get into a relationship that you could truly feel 100 percent passionate about but the thing that's keeping you from being all passionate is this decision to do something this the decision to go ahead and pursue this relationship because you don't know if this is just you know a good time or if it's something that could be serious it's something that could lead some you know i don't think y'all were looking for a fling yeah, I'm not seeing any Pentacles cards, but the thing is, I mean, if it was a fling, it would be a problem. I feel like, I mean, I don't think it's a lack of imagination because that's what some things that, you know, that's something sometimes that's what I can see, but it's, I'm not getting a lack of imagination. I feel like it's just a lot of choices, a lot of options. And sometimes these options look really nice in the forefront, but is it like legit? Is it something that you guys feel like you, you could actually go ahead and make the, you know, if it was such an easy decision, it wouldn't be the problem, right? But it's not because I feel like some of y'all are dealing with exes. Somebody's cause somebody has come back making their making a claim and they really want something. They really want they, you know, they really want to start over. But at the same time, you don't know if you could trust that. You don't know if this situation is trustworthy. You don't know if the options that are presented to you right now are work, you know, are being offered as the, what they said to be offered to. You know what I'm saying? Because things could look good and you know, nice and fresh. But are they really? Are they really going to offer you what you're looking for? Now, the reason why the Seven of Cups is your obstacle right now is because of justice. There's some things being karmic corrected right now. And I think, or the past was about karmic correction. Maybe there wasn't an apology in the past. Maybe somebody did some wrongs and the, you know, karmic, you know, the karmic scales had to balance itself out some way, or it didn't, it never did. Possibly. I also, I'm getting, I don't think, I don't think there was an apology. I feel like there was something that went wrong and it wasn't really straightened out. And I think that's why this decision making is such a difficult one because there's some old stuff that's coming up that is not, that has not been addressed. It hasn't been fixed. Nothing. Now your best path to follow, which is very interesting. Y'all have the world. So let's talk about, it's time to just kind of wrap this boat up. But the situation is also understanding that you've come, you're coming to the end of a cycle. You're coming to a sequence in your life where you've completed it. And this is your reward. This is saying that this is your reward in the, in the cycle to kind of just 
it's i don't know it's really weird you have the option to go ahead and go along with this relationship or not but either way this is your this is the way you end the cycle either you accept it or you don't accept it remember guys no no answer is the right answer and no answer is the wrong answer okay it is just what it is right so whatever you choose whatever your heart wants i would say go for it but this is the ending of a cycle. Whatever you guys, you know, the best advice is to just kind of go with what you feel is, you know, right for you, honestly. Um, and I feel like, honestly, I'm gonna, um, I, I feel like, honestly, guys, because there's so many meanings to this, to the to the world that, you know, the advice to give, we're gonna come back to that for a second. Um, because in your, what, it, right in your feelings you have the the wheel of fortune like this is a time around this is a second chance around um so i feel like honestly yes you see that this is a time where you get you're able to come back you're able to kind of you know look at a situation from another perspective because you know with the wheel of fortune here this does indicate that this is another time around for you to see something from another point of view for another from another aspect you know another perspective so you know what I'm saying? So if this is the case, which I really do think it is, I think the next day to come back and they're trying to make some make something happen, which you and you just don't know because there wasn't something that was tied up properly. You know, you yeah, you're feeling like um I don't really know about this. I don't really know if this is something I can do. Now, what you guys, what you guys are hoping for, is balance, give a proper give and take. Perhaps in the past you weren't giving what you were you know putting out there maybe you guys weren't ha receiving a good balance in your relationship maybe you guys were you know putting so much in the relationship and you guys weren't getting anything back and even that it was like it, it was like completely like just completely imbalanced so i think you guys really want a relationship that really balances itself out for a lot of you guys um for even certain situations for some of you some some of you guys this could be you guys wanting to come back with an ex because of some situations that probably weren't balanced on your part maybe maybe you guys weren't able to balance work and you know relationships maybe there was a situation where you guys had to kind of um balance things out but it wasn't really properly handled and it just kind of fell through the relationship fell through but you want to get back with this person that could be that it that that same situation as well but the fear and the hope is still the same you guys want a balance and you don't want to get this you know you don't want to have this balance completely kind of like out of whack you want this to be right this time because obviously justice is also the you know the reason why the decision making is such a big problem there wasn't something that was corrected there wasn't something that was properly handled and it would it left the situation completely unbalanced <clears throat> now for your outcome you guys have the seven of wands now the seven of wands are talking about defensiveness y'all are feeling like you guys have something to stand for though it's not the defensiveness that you're going to want to fight off people and trying to get away from no you're going to stand by something you're going to stand by your truth or you're going to stand by what you believe you you know that you that you truly want right what you feel passionate about and i feel like you feel very passionate about this relationship i think either you feel passionate about yourself um if for some of you that are trying to get it together you guys feel very passionate about reconnecting again but ultimately back to your you know your out you know your advice i really feel like it's really trying to say look at everything that you've been through look at everything that you've gone through is this decision going back to them the good decision because right now the world is really just indicating okay yes you've been through the cycle before you're you were at the end now this is a test and you know it is that's why you have the will of fortune in your feelings knowing what has happened in the past do you go back do you give it a second chance do you try again and if it's a yes then it's a yes then you go ahead and you try it again right there's no wrong answers never a wrong answer but if you decide not to go back that is also never a wrong answer that is just your choice that is what you're standing by and this, you know that is you defending your choice in regards to not taking this person back especially if they have a reputation of not being right with you right and then again for like if this is the flip side this is you guys you know if this is you guys wanting to get back with somebody then yeah this is talking about looking back at the past was this relationship really that good for you to want to come back to it why do you want to come back to someone that isn't really contemplating it or like who isn't really making a good you know that's having a hard time accepting you for who you are completely because that's what it looks like they're not trying to they have issues here like you may have old issues here you want this new exciting beginning but then this is difficulty this this facade that's being kicked up and is keeping the real decision making from happening because it's not really clear about what's being offered so it's all about figuring out what is going on why you know not really figuring out what's going on but like 
you know, being certain in yourself, like, okay, is this something that you truly want to go through again? Or this is, is this another relationship? Is this a relationship that you want to try again? Because sometimes relationships, when you start them up again, they can start completely fresh, but sometimes they can end up being the exact same thing. And you don't know what's up, right? But you have to just kind of go on and rely on your instincts. And that's a good thing. That's one of the best things about you, Aries, is that you guys rely on your instincts. All right. So y'all have here and now living in the moment y'all this is a really big card because when i see this i'm like yeah this is a time to really live in the moment and really be sure about like you know if this is this if this decision despite everything that you've been through is a good decision for you and that's all that matters right you have to make the best decision for yourself if it is a good decision for yourself then it is right if it isn't if it isn't there's never remember like i said guys there's never a wrong answer there's never a wrong answer so whatever you decide y'all it's okay but you are living in the moment as long as you're living in the moment and you're seeing the situation for what it truly is trying to show you then you're good right because you're doing you're doing the best that you can with it now i'm gonna go ahead and pull you guys a romance angels you know i, you know, I change up the cards every once in a while every week or so <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me oh my god y'all have worth waiting for okay and this is divine timing is it at work in your love life all right so worth waiting for so this is another sign y'all maybe this person is somebody that you can reconnect with and really try again so it's really all up to you whether this is you know not really being sure if the offers you know the offer that you're being received right now is legitimate or not it's all about how you feel in the moment y'all it's how you feel in the moment the world is all about how you feel in the moment despite everything that you've been through what do you feel like doing at this time so trust your instincts y'all work with yourself okay and really really if you need you know like if you need any time then take the time that you need take the time that you need but as long as you're doing the thorough research necessary looking at the situation and dating for a while and really taking your time and really getting to know that person really seeing the offer for what it truly is fine then you get then you have that answer right don't ever feel like you have to rush to get here but the seven of wands i feel like is ultimately standing your ground protecting you right if you need to take some time if you really need to date them a little bit see how they are see how different they they have become then sure that is totally okay right that is totally fine but don't ever feel like you have to rush into anything that's one of the things i really want to say don't feel like you have to rush anything don't feel like this is a time limit if they want you back they will wait for you 